just like a rose from the concrete. Fuck. Valley of death, no palm trees. Fuck. Yeah, how it works, that's what I speak. Yeah. Trying to revive the dead like an IV. Yeah. Just like a farmer, I just plant seeds. Life. Tell the harvest right and let the Lord reap. Christ. They shrunk us up and hung us on trees. Damn. Now we get the earth in the seven yeah. seas. Kingdom seek is heavenly. Gospel what I'm peddling. When you at war, ain't no need for no pleasantries. That include love and embrace of LGBTQ. No. Really? Because Christ taught against it. Did he really? Yes. What Matthew passage? 4 and 4. What chapter? Matthew 4 and 4. Matthew 4 and 4. Matthew 4 and 4. King James Version. Okay, Matthew 4 and 4. You did all of that for us to just, you could have just opened up your phone to Google, typed in Matthew 4 and 4, and any version that you want to read, and it would have said the same thing. Man, listen, let me read the Bible. It's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 4, and the 4th verse. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by what? But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. And the word of God said, If you are homosexual, you should get put to death. The basic, basic premise of Christianity is love thy neighbor as thyself. And that's loving my neighbor, love not, not allowing a homosexual to come in my presence. Jesus. Right, that's no, loving my neighbor. Another. Go ahead. You this is book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. Uh -huh. In the Good News Translation. Uh -huh. Surely you this know. Your this, this, this your husband? This your husband? Y'all y'all not married? This no, but Jesus taught love, not this bullshit you're We are teaching love. Love is keeping the commandments, and the commandments said put a homosexual to death. Right, go ahead. First Corinthians. We're teaching love. 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9. In the Good News Your body built bad, too. I see why you mad. Right, go ahead. <laughs> Good news translation. Surely you know. Yeah, it's very, it's very Christian. It's very Christian. It's very Christian. I'm a follower of Christ. What nationality are you? What the fuck does that mean? You can't even. What does fuck? Is that Christian like? Is it? You just said it. I'm asking you. You asked me. You said the F word. You've been a hypocrite. I thought, I thought you wanted me to be like you. Oh right. I thought we couldn't get angry. You're not showing love right now. You are not showing love. You are being a hypocrite. Do you realize that every person? Did you draw them eyebrows on? I'm sorry. What? Did you draw them eyebrows on? Did you draw those lips on? No. Did you draw? These are God-given, beautiful lips. But I know them. I know. No. These are natural hair. Some you might need some for your eyebrows though, right? You might need some for your eyebrows, right? Go ahead. Book of First Corinthians. Chapter 6, verse 9. Uh -huh. What's wrong with your knee, man? You are the devil. What's wrong with your knee? All of you are the devil. Wait, what, what's your ethnicity? All of you are what's the devil. What's your ethnicity? This is bullshit. You what's your ethnicity? You know what? Love one another. You're a joke. I don't love homosexuals. I'm sorry. You know what? the devil. All praises, right? We the adversary towards homosexuals. All praises. Right? That's what... Hey, you don't know they call Jesus the devil at work. Exactly. We the adversary towards... You know, the other nations, we the, we the adversary towards all of the people that's against God. So, yeah. We're hated of all men, right? So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Book read that, read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 9, uh -huh. in the GNT. Uh -huh. Surely you know that the wicked will not possess God's kingdom. It said the wicked will not possess God's kingdom, man. And it tells us in the Bible, being of the LGBT community is wicked. So we just teach him what God said. Y'all mad at God, y'all not at me, y'all not mad at me, right? Go ahead. Do not fool yourself. They say what? Do not fool yourself. And that's the joke of America, and this is why America is gonna get destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. Because the most high has given people warning through his prophets, man, to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. We even teaching these other heathen nations to leave these Israelites alone, man. What you're doing to the Israelites is, is basically gonna come upon you ten times worse. The cup that you filled, you're gonna receive the cup double, right? But at the end of the day, because this place is so confused and wicked, right. it said these people are being fooled. Go ahead. People who are immoral or who worship idols uh -huh. or adulterers uh -huh. or a homosexual pervert. So this is in the Bible, right? That you are fooling yourselves when you actually practice these practices, man. right? All type of, uh, of fornication. So we just out here teaching the Bible, right? 
We just out here teaching the Bible. That's all. Right. right? Don't get mad at us. Get mad at God. Right? Try. You can't swing at God. You can hit us, but the Most High God got a major judgment for your ass at the end of the day. Right? <laughs> like you can do whatever to us, but the truth is still gonna stand. Two thirds of our people are gonna die in America because they don't want to come back to the Most High God. Right? The America is gonna get destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Right? And the Israelites are going to take the kingdom pursuing the Daniel 7, right? Go ahead. But Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Uh-huh. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? So we're enemies to people because we out here just teaching what we're reading. Right? This country's supposed to be principle based on the Bible, right? But at the end of the day, nobody wants to follow it. That's why California want to ban it, right? This is why they want to take away all of the black history in these other states, right? And, and force you to believe something that's simply not true. How did slavery benefit black people? Right? We still going through the epigenetics of the trauma of slavery. Right. So how is that beneficial, man? Go ahead. This is the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 26 uh -huh. in the NLT. Mm -hmm. This is why God abandoned them. You said what? This is why God abandoned them. And this is why God abandoned the blacks, Latinos, and Native American community. This is why we're having the most problems, right? The brother brought out like a, two weeks ago, we, our statistics are in the wrong direction. Right. We're number one in everything negative, right. but last in everything positive. Right. Right. right? That because, read that again. It said, this is why God abandoned them. He, he abandoned us because we did this right here. Keep reading. I, said, I don't want to jump the gun. God, this is why God abandoned them uh -huh. to their shameful desires. Uh -huh. Even the women turn against the natural way to have sex and instead indulge in sex with each other. So instead of them going to a man and procreating like they're supposed to, they right. actually indulge in it with each other. Read. It says, and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women. It say, it say not, it, not only did it say sexual, it said what? It says, and the men, instead of having and normal. Normal. Read it again. It says, and the men, instead of having normal sexual relations with women, uh -huh. burn with lust for each other. Uh-huh. So it's saying these men are now burning lust with each other, man. Right. So y'all always try to bring that up to us, knowing that it's against the Bibles. You, you want us to force fit something that's not there. Right. Right? It's an error. It's an error according to the Most High God. If you read this in the KJV, he said, which do err. Yeah, come. Right? Go ahead. It says, men did shameful things uh -huh. with other men. Uh -huh. And as a result of the sin, they suffered within themselves the penalty they deserve. So this country is shameless, man. This is why they got to receive their judgment. Right. Right? Give me uh, Revelation 17. I think the Babylon great whore. 18. Right? It's, I think it's 17. The great whore. 18. 18. It got to be 17. Revelation 17, right? They call it a whore. Right, gotcha, a, a, a whore is... Come on, come on. Go ahead. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 17. We're going to start at verse 5. Uh -huh. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. It said the mother of what? The mother of harlots. A, a harlot do not have any type of shame, right? right? right. A harlot is just out here showing everything for the world to see so she can make a little dollar, right? right? This is America and this is the hearts that it created in these human beings, especially right. these blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans because it was already in the hearts of these heathens, right? We develop a heart out of harlots, man. People who don't have any shame. Right. But when you read that in Romans, it said doing things which are shameful right. to other ethnicities who has a certain principle it applies to them to be shameful to do something like right. that. But according to America, man, she's the mother of all harlots. She don't have no shame. And this is why the Most High is going to put them to shame when it's destroyed for all the rape, robbery, murder that they did throughout the whole earth. Go ahead. It says, and upon her forehead was a name written, uh -huh. Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations. They say what? It says the mother, mother of, of harlots, harlots and, and abominations, abominations of the earth. Uh huh. It says, and I saw the woman. And and, and what is an abomination? The LGBT community, bro. That's right. right. That is an abomination, bro. According to the law. Give me uh, uh Leviticus. You got a precept? Give me Leviticus. Go ahead. It says, and I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints. Uh huh. And with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. So that same whore or that same harlot, the mother of the harlots, right? 
is drinking the blood of the saints. Who are the saints? The Israelites. Right. Well, who are the Israelites? You blessed Latinos and Native Americans, right. man. Right. Pursuant to history, prophecy, and archaeology, we can show you that black people are the real Jews, and the Hispanic and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. Right. right? But these people got their blood, our blood, in their hands. And this is why they got to receive the judgment. But if you don't want to receive the same judgment that they're going to get, you must come back and repent and keep the law, set this commandments. Right. Go ahead. It says, I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. Uh -huh. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Uh -huh. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Uh -huh. I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her. They said, Of the beast that carry of her. Now watch this. Go ahead. Book of Leviticus, chapter 20. Verse 13, uh -huh. if a man also lies with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both have committed an abomination. They said they've committed an abomination. That's right. And it's saying the mystery Babylon, the mother of harlots, right, right who's abominable, right. is going to receive a judgment. Yeah. right? This whole place is going to receive a judgment. That's thermonuclear fire by the hands of Russia, Brazil, India, and China. Man. Right. Go ahead. Well, I'm Go ahead. You can pull the priest over if you want to. Keep going, keep going. Come on, the book of Revelation chapter 17, verse 7. It uh -huh. says, And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel? Uh -huh. I will tell thee the mystery of the woman and of the beast that carrieth her. It said, Of the beast that carrieth her. Read. Which have the seven horns, and seven heads, and ten horns. Uh -huh. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit is Europe, man. Right? So it's talking about those Western European powers, right? was not and is again, meaning they was out of rulership and then came back into power, being in the bottomless pit. Right, go ahead. It says, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition, uh -huh. and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life uh -huh. from the foundation of the world, uh -huh. when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. Uh -huh. and, and when it's talking about was, not, and yet is, it's talking about how the Roman Empire is right. basically revised, right, right, right. right? It's a revised Roman Empire. They fell out of power during the Dark Ages. You had black people in Europe ruling during that time. And then they came up, took everything, 1441. You now starting to see dominance from the white man again, right? Go ahead. That's it on there, right? No, no, we good. Uh, give me Revelation 18 and four now, right? Go ahead. No, you good. Okay. Revelation 18 yeah, but what's your precept though? Come, go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Uh -huh. And I heard another... Sorry, verse 3. Come, verse 3. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. So it ain't just white people. It's all of these nations, the Asians, the Arabs. All of these people have right. partaken in right. some type of shape, form of rape, rob, and murder of the black, Latinos, and Native American people right. being the Israelites, right? But y'all got to open this Bible and realize it's not a mystery, bro. This is talking about black people right. and their history and, and what oppression they're facing. Right. All of it prophesied by Moses in Deuteronomy 30. Go ahead. I'm starting at verse 2. Uh -huh. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 2. Uh -huh. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, uh -huh. saying, Babylon the great is fallen. And, and America is the modern day Babylon. Right. right, right. Right? It's the mother of all harlots, like verse uh, uh, chapter 17 said. Right? It's abominable, shameless. Right. All of the things that is, is killing the martyrs of Christ, the real Jews, right. his people. Right? This is how we know America is modern day Babylon, man. Right. right, go ahead. It says, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, uh -huh. and it's become the habitation of devils. So these Asian people don't want to get caught in Babylon, man. They want to, they might want to go back to their country, like they try, right. try to tell us to go back to Africa, man. Right. They might want to go back to their country because this country is going to fall, bro, That's at right. the end of the day. Right. They already threatened government shutdowns. You see in Russia threatening America with nukes and how there would not be any survivor based on the nuclear uh, uh, power that they have right. with these other countries teaming up against them. Right. Right, go ahead. It says, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, uh -huh. and it's become the habitation of devils. Uh-huh, it says it's becoming the habitations of devils, meaning deceivers. This whole country deceived the whole world. Right. Now, all of these heathens are now taking the blindfold off and realizing Bro, we don't have to listen to these people no more. Right. America is not a great power anymore, right. right? Look at the dollar. All of these people abandoning the dollar and coming up with their own form of foreign exchange through their currencies, man, right? Now they actually backing things back gold again right. versus just a, a threat of 
oh, we're going to come over there and invade and rape, rob, and murder your kids and, and, and force democracy on you. Right. These, this, this place is finished. The ideology of America is finished throughout the whole world, man. Right. And it's high time for you blessed Latinos and Native Americans to realize that it's time for you to come back to the Most High God and keep his commandments. That's right. Because the only way you can escape that judgment that's coming to America, all of those threats that's coming to America, is going to come to pass. It's all prophesied I'm in the right. Bible. That's damn right. I'm Go ahead. Look at 2 Ezra, keep it. chapter 9, verse 7. Uh -huh. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. It said uh, escape by what? By his works. It said by his works we should right. be escaped. But what have we been escaped from? Right. The thermonuclear fire that's coming to this place, bro. Right. By, the, by the hand of these other countries. That, that little dude from North Korea, that little nigga in power, he's ready to shoot a missile somewhere. He don't care who it is, he's just ready to shoot that missile, man. And guess who supplied it all? Gog Magog, the ruler of Moscow. Right? Gog in the land of Magog. Read. Shall be able to escape by his works uh -huh. and by faith, uh -huh. whereby ye believe. It said works and faith, right? It's not just by grace alone and not by faith alone. Right. He said by works and faith, read. Shall be preserved from the said perils. It said he shall be preserved. This is only given to the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're the only ones who have a chance to receive this, uh, this escape plan. Right. The Most High God is giving you an escape plan before the actual destruction come to this place, right? right? right. He giving you an out. All you have to do is just come and follow him in truth and sincerity, man. Just for slaves, slaves. beat them so hard, had them crumping like the bay. Yeah. 